Tyler's on, striper, striper. Oh, big, I'll land him. Yeah, here, I'll get the light. I gotta get the shit on camera. That was it. <laughs> Tyler's hooked up. First striper of the night. Just blew up out of the water for it. I'll get over here to land it. All right, come on. Jesus Christ. That's a good one. Jesus. Holy. Holy. Look at that. There he is. Hell yeah. <laughs> First power plant striper of the night. Look at that bad boy. Smoke the war baits. Saucy swimmer. There we go. There we go. First one of the night, Tyler. Look at that. You got him? Yeah. Blew up out of the water for it. Yeah. Dude, yeah. that's a nice one right there. Ooh. So basically, these are like the most elusive game fish that we have out here in Southern California. Dude, I'm I mean, lost them. a lot of people don't even know they're here. Look at that guy right there. The rarest game fish we got on our coast. I mean, these guys are brutes. They get a lot bigger, but this is a beautiful one right here. I'm let him go. For the guy back in the water. Kicking. Let's get another one. <laughs> so night one, we did it. We landed a striper. We lost two. I lost one. Tyler lost another one. But it was such a quick break. I couldn't even get it for you guys because, like, you know, the footage is gonna come on pitch black because very there's no lighting at the spot. Bringing the bring this to you guys, the Southern California it's striper. So striper, baby. Super <laughs> rare. So we'll get back to you night Still. two. How's it going, you guys? Welcome to the coolest episode of Vlog Squad. You're gonna see this one is just a mind blowing episode. And this episode has been a few months in the making. It's but a, one of the reasons we've been so late is because we've been trying to work on this fish and we'll play some footage right here of funny events that have happened while trying to catch this fish. Striper? Yes, sir. Schoolie striper. No, I ain't no striper. The hell are you? You gotta be kidding me. And zebra perch. You mother but um yeah guys it has been a grind for this fish we finally have figured them out to a t to a t we have them down we can go get them we know when they're here we know when we can get them and this video is going to show you guys everything you need to know about the southern california striper i mean we really grinded for this fish guys like it was a hard work lots of effort and an amazing fish and as you guys are going to see in this video they are large fish they're game fish inshore game fish something that like we don't really have here we got our spotties we got our halibut but do we have striper yes we do so this video is going to change a lot of things for you guys and i hope you guys can go out there and go get some striper and we can just make this a new trend and a new thing in southern california so guys i'll catch you on the water peace i got him i got him striper on big striper on big striper on boys He's ripping drag like absolutely nothing. I got a like seven inch swim bait on, excuse my language, but we are on. We are on. He broke me off twice. Two SP minnows down the drain, but he is on now. This is what we mean, boys. When we chase these saltwater stripers, we are not joking around. This video should be a pretty big game changer to people. I mean, look at that, boys. We are on right now with a striper. I can't believe it. Like you were saying, he is pulling drag right now. He's got me wrapped on something, so let's get him out of there. I had to lose my drag because like, you don't understand. I hooked one that was so massive. It was, he's just pulling drag right now. Oh, that's what we like to see. All right, boys, let's get over here so we can land him. All right, right, guy? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Get out of that rock. Come on. Come on. Down on it. You guys see that drag? This is the fight we were waiting for down here. Wow. This is what we were, this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about right now. This is what it is all about. Alright, let's keep moving down. I gotta land these rocks to land this fish. Oh! Look at that fish! Oh, shit. Holy <laughs> shit! That's some unit! That's it! Yo! Yo! <laughs> oh, shit! This is what we want. Many skunks. Many skunks. Just for a unit fish like this. All right, all right. He's not done yet. I'm gonna try to get him. I'm gonna try to get him. I'm gonna try to get him, Ryan. I'm gonna try to get him. Oh my god! I'm gonna try to get him. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, Ryan. All right. Let's see if we can get. Him. Dude, this thing's huge. This thing is huge. 
him. We got him. We got him. Oh, almost, almost. Come on. Come on. Let me go. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. I'm not gonna eat you. I'm not dick. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Move. Move. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's get him back over here. Let's get him back over here. Oh. This is a PB right here. This is what we live for. Dude, look at his tail. Show him that tail. I think he chewed up. Oh my god, this thing is girthy. Oh. Oh. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Chasing these elusive saltwater fish. In my opinion, in Southern California, these are the rarest game fish we got on our coast, on our coast. Look, they got these, look at the isopod on them. Wow. Oh, yeah. But yeah, guys, look at this fish. Look at this fish. I'm like, I am stunned right now. Like, this is a unit. This thing is massive. It, look how beautiful it is, too. Just beautiful fish. Like, it's such an East Coast fish. Look at that. Yes, boys. Ditches. All right, I just ate shit, guys. I'm in the water, I'm trying to let this beast go. Swim off, my friend. Swim off. Oh shit, right? I'm gonna need stitches. All right. Oh my god, I'm gonna need stitches, dude. There he goes. He's kicking. All right, to the doctors. Like, I'm not kidding. I can barely feel my finger. All right, for sure. I think I just cut a. Sure. Oh shoot! How bad is it? Yikes! Yeah, damn. That's pretty deep. All right, to the ER. What's up, guys? So we're heading down to the hospital right now because I literally cut my hand open. And I could see my bone, so that's why I knew I was like, I need stitches. Like I can see the bone of my finger. Like it's pretty gross. I broke both my legs, but like that's pretty nasty. But anyways, we're going down to the hospital right now. I'm gonna get stitches, and um, we did it. I can't believe it. I did get a clean leaves on though. I waited till they swam off and I was gushing blood. Just know that like the fish came first. And um, I'm just like in shock right now, honestly. I have so much adrenaline right now. So I'm just like ready to roll. But um, the fact that we got that unit of a striper, that's my PB striper too. Like, oh, I'm just like, I'm just stoked right now. I'm absolutely stoked. Like, and like, you understand, he broke me off twice on two SP minnows. Like, obviously the striper, I'm like, God, I'm like, the just initial impact of these fish, like, were just breaking me off. Like, boom, like, 20 pound leader, nothing. 20 pound leader, nothing. Even broke clean. I, and then I went to straight braid. I was pitching straight braid on a swim bait and then stuck him. Jim's on a good one. Night two. We are out here. Night two. Oh, Jesus! Wow. Oh, he's off. He's off. Oh, I got one. Oh, no. I don't got him. I don't got him. Light off. Hell yeah, boys. Light off. Light off. Light off. Light off. Light off. Uh, yeah. We're on. We're on. Round two. Round two. Round two. Oh. Flint, I'm gonna need your land. <laughs> oh, oh. Actually, I might be able to get him. Oh, it's a big one. Round two, boys. Welcome to night two of Stri SoCal striper fishing. Where drag is ripping and uh, big fish are on. He seems to just be waking up. So we got Jim down here and Dylan Platinga, which you know Dylan, but Jim is actually the guy I bought the boat from. And once I told him about this kind of fishing, he was in right away. And as you guys saw earlier, he landed his, oh, he just swam to another striper. He landed his first uh, SoCal saltwater striper. And uh, I'm on number two right now. I've caught him before, but this is number two. Oh, he's big. He is, he is big. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to land this or somebody.
All right, you're good. I'll try to get him. All right, hit the light in the water. All right, let's see this guy. Let's get a review. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a, that's a decent. Look at that. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. SP minnow, boys. That's a buck in there. I got your rod. That's where I slip, so be careful. Yep. Oh, it's getting. <laughs> yeah. Landed. He is not done, huh? No. Oh, he is a beefy fish. <laughs> Totally trying to get me hooked in this shit. Yeah. Let's go. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. You got it? Yep. I got. I'll carry the rods. We're we'll just getting back to the safe point. Oh. <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo. There we go, boys. Round two. We got another beautiful SoCal saltwater striper hooked up on two tonight. Got two fish. I mean, this thing's a brute. This thing is big. Check out the isopod on this fin. Gnarly stuff. I mean, this is what you live for, guys. Like, if you're a young kid and I mean, you want to catch yellowtail, but you don't have the money for it, this is the uh, next best thing. I promise you guys, like, this is 100% worth your time. I mean, look at this. This is just an absolute beautiful fish. Alrighty. You. Mm-hmm. Good. Oh, 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 he's good. He's good to go. Almost. Almost good to go. I can't get my hand wet, so let's use my left hand. Alright, there he goes, boys. Yo! Alright, guys. So tonight, when I'm throwing, I mean, we're all throwing SP minnows. These have been our golden bait for stripers or like a seven inch swim bait but you're fishing it in current and whatnot and top watering it but sp minnows have been our go-to i mean as you guys have seen these striper have been massive we are targeting them so this is not a fluke this is not a fluke we are targeting these fish and they're in many different spots they run the surf they're everywhere they're in southern california but no one has really picked up on it, i feel like like they're here like this is a fishery that can be awesome for everyone and guess what at night time we don't even need floral leaders. We can fish straight braid and just smoke them. They are do not picky when it comes to this. They're feeding and they're ready to go. So honestly, guys, I recommend giving this a try. It's super fun. And if you know there's a lot of people out there who don't have the money to afford charters and whatnot. And honestly, this is the way to go. Fishing these stripers, just like fishing yellowtail. It's just great. So let's catch some more. We are on again. This is striper three of the night. Jim is bent. Jim is bit. I'm gonna land him. Land him. Dude, I'm gonna cut this back on my chest. Keep it, keep it. <laughs> Woo. That's a good one. He's a lengthier one. Yeah, he is. All right, let's get him to the, the safe zone. Here we go. Look at that. This is striper three of the night. We are just going wide right now on these beasts. And they're all, look at this, all decent size. All like big quality striper. I mean, this is just going crazy. 
Hell yeah. Phew. All right, boys, this has been one of the most incredible nights ever, and this is gonna be probably one of the most incredible videos. It's pretty game-changing, honestly, because for most people, Southern California is spotted bay bass, inshore, sand bass, halibut, that's it. But we are adding a new fish for you guys on the table. And once again, these fish are very condition-based. It's something you have to figure out and go out there and put the time in, put the effort into, and you will find them like we're finding them tonight, just like a pretty much wide-open bite. This has been the span of 20 minutes. All of you are seeing right now has been in the span of 20 minutes. But um, it's very currenty. It's like one of those things, like striper need the three things I found. And there's multiple spots. This is not the only spot we catch them at, believe it or not. We catch them at many other spots. They need current, strong, ripping water, and certain moon phases. A certain moon phase is for each spot. Once you find that, you find the current, you find what they like, and you find what they like to eat, which are big baits, you will get them. And I guarantee you, I'm showing you right now, I brought Jim out here today in Plantinga, and we are on them. So, you. Sir, let him pull. Hey, let him pull. Let him pull. Or you gonna break it? That's a good one. <laughs> it's, straight, it's straight braid, right? Yeah, straight braid. Okay. I wouldn't tighten. Oh down. my goodness. I wouldn't tighten. I didn't buckle it, but I had it loose in the beginning for the hit, and that was good. I was doing exactly that, changing up the retrieve, like you were saying, and then he hit it on the twitch, and he might be on the drop off. Now he's on top. Hey, if he runs that current, just run through. Yeah, he's dog in the current. That was crazy. <laughs> Plant, how you feeling? First fish in three months, so I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> I mean, would you say this is a wide open bite plant? Would you say I put uh, you on a wide open bite? Compared to the 12 times we've gone and caught nothing, I'd say so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Plant, I'm gonna get ready to land on. I'm gonna get cornered. Here you come. Oh my goodness. How sick. Nice. Not too bad. Is your first ever striper plant? First ever striper. After so many freaking tries. Oh, he's burning me, bro. He's burning me. Wow. Oh. It's like yellowtail and spotty fishing. <laughs> Your boy Luke Skywalker is about to land this fish. Go Luke. Go Luke. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, get his ass over here. He's up on the line. You got it? Yep. It's open. Okay, hey buddy, hey buddy, hey buddy. Alright, we got him in the oh, corner. That's kind of big. That's a big one. Watch it for fantasy. Watch your Really? Relax. Hey. open if you need to let him run. Alright. I think he's done. He's almost done. He's got, this is the farthest sketch right here. Yeah. I don't want to get that bottom hook Man, in my hand. The tail's chewed up. Jesus Christ. That bottom hook, I, I'm, I'm holding it like pretty good. I just might need help getting up here. So I'm you got it? There you go, plant. Let's <laughs> get <laughs> Let's get you over to the corner. God. Might be the biggest fish I've ever caught from shore in California. Yeah, how'd that feel? How did that feel? It was alright. It was alright. Alright, let me get your shot. Alright. Free Hurley bag. Under Armour, but yeah. Oh yeah, Under Armour. Oh, she's ready. Okay, turn around. Get out of here. I'd say this is a graceful yeah, release. 
he's definitely got it. He just needs to, there he goes. Oh, oh there she goes, figuring out how to girl. All right, how's it going, you guys? As you guys saw, incredible night at Striper Fishing. I mean, we got these guys dialed to a T. I I told you guys it on the first night, when I got the one, and I got sent to the ER. Stitches. Stitches. It sucks. It's like, I saw my bone. Like, I saw my bone. I saw my physical bone in my hand, and I knew it was ER time. But, look at us now. We are, I'm, doctor told me not to fish. I'm fishing, and we, we're back at it, killing Striper. And, Plant, what do you think about that whole experience of the SoCal Striper, and just how much of a game changer it is? I didn't know they existed, so here we are. So here we are, yeah. I mean, when we were kids in ninth grade and stuff, in eighth grade, sixth grade, whatever, fishing, we were just fishing spotted bay bass. These things were not even on our minds, not even a thought in existence. Two but pound spotties. Two pound spotties were the limit. But now we're pushing that limit, and I'm happy to bring this to you guys. Three pound spotties. Three pound spotties. But I'm happy to bring this to you guys because I just see this as being a huge game changer for people out there. You know, I mean, this is where we're at now. We're at a huge game changer right now. And, we give you good information, what bait to use, SP minnows, seven inch swim baits, fish in the current. You just need all the information. And don't forget to buy your Hog Squad merch, guys. Look at that. Beautiful stuff. And back. Beautiful. Side. Beautiful. All coming in. All we got a bunch of colors, everything. You can give them in a whole ton of colors. I got mine in purple, and honestly, it's the freshest shirt in my quiver of shirts. Quiver of shirts. But guys, I'm very happy you guys tuned in for this episode. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see more stuff like this, honestly. Like, we're going to be back there, of course. Yeah, guys, I'll catch you later, and you guys are the best. Later.